looking to buy a classic family home in Branson. Good afternoon. This is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today, we are back with Marusha from Luxlive Property Group, who's going to take us on a tour of this stunning home. As always, specs on the house. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, two garage home. Wait and please see what's on the inside. Guys, enjoy. Marusha. Thank you very much. It is so exciting to be in a slightly different area from my usual. We're now in Bryanston. We've been asked often to feature some of the gorgeous homes in Bryanston. And here we are. And what I love about the area is some flowers just came down on me, which is absolutely stunning. We get the rain of flowers from the trees. This is what I love about it. The massive trees in this area, the massive size of the stand that we are on. These stands are very few and far between at the moment. So it is really exciting to have a property that is a big family home on a very big stand uh, that um, yeah, very few found here. And we are also in a boondock area. So security here is absolutely exceptional. And we are also on a cul-de-sac. So super quiet street, top security. In fact, there's a very famous person living across from us. So the security is second to none. And this beautiful front garden. So I just want to showcase these trees have taken many years to grow. So we should take a second to enjoy the look and also enjoy the shade they provide because it's just getting quite hot here. There's a massive aviary. The homeowners are animal lovers. So the home not only caters for humans, but it also caters for animals, which is really magnificent. And uh, here is uh, maybe just a nod to also loving horses, although this home does not come with, uh, uh, maybe not, not with stables, but it does come with a lot of horsepower, but that doesn't get sold with the house. Just want to point out. But yeah, very nice little horse on the side of the car, just showcasing what you can be parking in your space. It is a two garage and two carport home and a very beautiful front courtyard setup. So imagine driving your vehicles around as you're dropping off guests to come and visit. And uh, then a stunning wide staircase leading you into the entrance of the home. What they've done is, this is an older house. What they've done is they've preserved all the classical beauty of the house, but they've also added some modern elements into it as well. The, this wrought iron gate, very pretty, as well as um, adding security. The house also has alarm system, it has electric fencing, but like I said, being situated where it is, it is exceptionally safe. We're entering now the home, double volume entrance, stunning chandelier floating above, and then the eye is immediately drawn out into the garden. You've got windows, floor to ceiling windows at every opportunity of this house. You'll see floods of natural light, and uh, this um, just brings in the, the garden space and makes it really, really, it's, it's like a house and garden style home. That's the, the vibes I'm getting here. You want to see it on a magazine. And perfect timing really being Christmas. The owner has gone all out with the Christmas decorations. Super exciting. I'm um, waiting to see if I can smell the cookies for, for Santa. Immediately to the right of the entrance is the family room. Very large space. Stunning kitchen. Speaking of cookies, this is my favorite part of the kitchen. Massive counter. There's a huge walk-in uh, pantry there. We're not going to look into it because it is really used for what it's meant to. And uh, white and black. And you'll see throughout the house, this um, element is uh, taken through with the living rooms as well. So it's dramatic. It's classical, it's, um, you know, it brings you a little bit of the old times, but in a very stylish and very modern way, because this, these are really the colors today. And from the kitchen, stepping out into the family room, living space, standing fireplace, and this massive mirror just reflecting again the garden. So you can see your garden from the mirror, from the doors that open onto the garden, 
that we're gonna look at shortly and uh, just gives extra depth into the room as well. Being a modern house, this house also comes with solar power. So we don't have to worry about uh, any form of load shedding and there are air cons in uh, quite a few of the rooms. So being also high ceilings, it's a very cool, very breezy home. We've now walked through the entrance hall again, out of the family room and kitchen and into the other entertainment spaces, the social rooms. And it's really four rooms into one, but in a very, very nice creative design way. So immediately to the right, we step into a formal dining room. Beautiful, they've exposed the double volume here and they've suspended some of these chandeliers. We'll see it next door as well, as well as a two-sided fireplace. And this is wood burning fireplace. So again, we can see these are the, the elements of the old home. They've painted the brick white, very clever. They've painted the mantelpiece on the fireplace with the black. You've got the very, very light gray shades uh, on the, basically the, around the fireplace as well as the shelving. So very modern and with the abundance of plants and Christmas decoration, it is just a very special space. Very welcoming indeed for the holidays. I'm not going to open, but I just want to point out that there is a wine cellar here. It's quite a big room. Use it as a wine cellar, use it as a games room, cigar lounge if this thing is still done, or even a TV room. But you have it, but it is quite full at the moment with the boxes from the massive amount of Christmas decorations. So this is the lounge area right next to the wine cellar, makes perfect sense. And immediately across, we're now stepping into living space number three for, for this whole interlinked open spaces. And they've set it up as a pool room. Again, white and black. Look at those colors. White and black with the pool and white and black check on the flooring as well, the tiles. So again, very, very clever design. It's so modern and it's so fresh with so much white but at the same time, it's not, it's not over the top. Exposed um, ceiling beams, they've painted everything white again, and um, it's just transformed this entire classical looking house. Being family, uh, animal lovers, you can see there's uh, also rooms for the animals, but we won't dwell on those. And uh, you also have a storeroom right here. Lots of storage in this house. There's a sink as well, so imagine if this would be your braai room. You can also, if you're not into playing pool, you can also uh, have this as a dining room next to the braai, right next to it. And then stepping into the last room in this big open space, this is uh, another lounge area. I would call it the garden room because obviously it leads straight out into the garden with those uh, doors stacked open and we're gonna step out into the garden shortly after we finish the house but it is private it is beautiful it is absolutely in perfect condition very well looked after and very low maintenance too super important what i also imagine with restoring the the uh, old house into its glory or bringing more glory to the house they've opened up these walls on both sides and they've done it in such a clever way because it's made this whole space open but it still kind of gives divisions of each room so very very well done what we've got also on the ground floor is a study and the fourth bedroom so let's have a look quickly this is a full bathroom and it services the fourth bedroom the guest bedroom here Travertine tiling, so they've just restored it and they left it, obviously it's timeless travertine, so really beautiful and very classy material to, to use. Beautiful big fourth bedroom and views of the entire garden. Basically you have two windows and a door that leads out into the garden as well. So very nice and this is a king size bed, so very spacious room. Then 
And what's quite nice is you can close this door and it becomes a full en suite, guest suite. Then just across from the corridor, the guest toilet here. And uh, again, very nice and generous in size. And uh, we're stepping now into the study. The study has a door out into the garden, so I would have it open throughout summertime. So beautiful to look at this uh, magnificent evergreen tree. And uh, again, what they've done here is they've used the older elements with the wall cladding here, the, the panels with the grays and the whites, fresh modern look and plenty of uh, built-in cupboards here. Now heading up this door, you literally just slide it again the wrought iron so it's pretty to look at and add security if you need it. There's a big storeroom under the staircase tiled flooring and uh, this, the colors, the shades of gray with the white um, skirtings and uh, just the touch of black, just highlighting your balustrades and you know the, the top of the stairs basically. So coming up immediately to the right, bedroom number one, we've got three bedrooms upstairs. This bedroom has its own balcony, very cute, currently set up as a girl's room, stunning chandelier, very light and uh, fun really, big bed, plenty of cupboard space, so really fun, very welcoming room with again the view of the garden uh, when you go out through the balcony. I love the unicorn theme, maybe it should stay, whoever buys it. Then we've got literally the mirror image of the downstairs um, bathroom. It's uh, replicated upstairs. So again, full bathroom with um, the travertine and marble, freestanding bath and a shower. And that bathroom services the bedroom we've just seen, plus the bedroom we're stepping into now. This bedroom has a walk-in closet and then another very generous room with a space for a king-size bed, Again, we have an aircon and windows on all sides with access to that balcony again. So each bedroom has a balcony looking out into the big garden. And then we walk down a very much runway style corridor leading to the main bedroom. Plenty more packing space and the linen cupboard. And then as you're walking down, I invite you to look at this double volume living room and dining room space. It's again, it's very dramatic and very beautiful from uh, upstairs. And they've done the same here with the balustrades. This is wood, so they've painted it white and black. Just the touches, touches of black. And as we up here, you can also see the top of the chandelier and the entrance hall. Everything flows, every single room talks to each other. So the last room at the end of this runway is the main bedroom and a stunning big room, plenty of windows again, overlooking the garden, as well as a walk-in closet and um, a full bathroom with an outdoor shower, which is great. But first, we're right now we're in the bedroom, aircon above us as well, and a fireplace. So cooling in, in summer, uh, heating up in winter, and just keeping the ambience going, which is very important for a bedroom. And then stepping through into, there's a little dressing room set up there with um, another window looking out, and then the walk-in closet and the bathroom itself. Very nicely, again, renovated. They've kept the marble in the bathroom as well as they've kept that uh, bath that's a very big and uh, inviting bath with a stunning chandelier just above it. That's what I was looking for. And the shower is um, quite a big shower cabin on its own, so you can turn it into a steam shower, which is always a... Lately, it seems to be one of the features uh, everyone's looking for, steam showers and saunas, right? 
How has your sauna experience been in South Africa? How many have you seen in houses? Love it. So should we head down towards the garden? Yes, please. And have a look at the downstairs four entertainment areas, which is pretty much one big entertainment area, but I like the division in between. So can you see as we're walking down the corridor, what we're looking at is the tree. And I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a lot of plants throughout this house. And I always look for that because if the plants are thriving, it means the house gets a lot of natural light and um, you know it gets enough breeze and the right air to nurture the plant growth. And they've even shaped some of the plants into shapes of Christmas trees, very cute. Again, nice and dramatic, looking down this corridor leading into the kitchen space and uh, another look at these rooms. They're absolutely my favorite in the whole house, especially sitting at this dining room next to the fireplace, the high ceiling above us and the view of the garden. Absolutely stunning. And let's step out and have a look at this garden. This is over 2,000 square meters garden, super long swimming pool. Whoever buys this house has to swim lengths here because why have a swimming pool like this if you're not going to train for an Olympic uh, competition of some form? I'm, I'm guessing about 15 meters. We can always measure it. And uh, standing here towards the end of the garden, first thing you notice is those massive trees, very well established. Having trees like this is absolutely priceless because this takes 20 years to get to this level. But the second thing we notice is we have a humongous trampoline and there's still plenty of space because so many gardens I see, if you put a trampoline, that's it, garden finished. The other thing I notice is it's immaculate. So, it is uh, very well manicured and very established. So literally, I think you cut the grass, you trim the shrubs and you sort it. And of course, what do we notice is the, gar the, the, the house. It's gorgeous. Again, those uh, grays with the black uh, around the windows. What else do we see? Solar. Solar. Top. Yeah, nice open space. There we go, all the entertainment areas open up, flow, like you said, into the garden. Can you imagine the parties they're having here? I mean... And I mean, they've brought the drama with the chandeliers through here as well. You can see them through the space. Very fair. That's a 10-seater over there. You don't even see it. So imagine the size of this thing. Guys, guys, what do you think? It's a little different, not in an estate. It's a standalone home in the heart of Bryanston in Santon. Any questions you have, make sure to reach out. Marusha's details are below. I hope you enjoyed the tour as much as we did giving it because like Marusha said, it's, it's something else for us instead of the estate homes. Um, anyway, have an awesome, awesome afternoon and thank you so much.